Hi everybody, it's Steven from the Fragrance Lair, and today I have for you is another unboxing and first impression. Now before I get into that, I have a community question for you, and the question is pretty simple. What is your favorite flanker to the popular Terry McGlay fragrance, Amen? So basically, favorite Amen flanker. Pretty basic, but if you don't like any of them, tell me why, or if you like something that's not a flanker from them, like B-Men or something, that's a good answer too. So... Let me just generalize the question. What's your favorite Terry Mugler fragrance so we can cater to everybody, more or less just people who like the flankers? So, anything Terry Mugler, really. So, that's the question. So, anyways, I have the newest release from Terry Mugler. This is, um, what you want to call it? Today's date is February 24th, and I got this fragrance. I'm very happy to have it. You might know what it is by now. It is Terry McGlay's Amen Pure Tonka. So, I think this is like my ninth or tenth Amen fragrance, I believe. I think ninth. But either way, there you go. Let me open it up so we can get cracking on that, shall we? Ow. I really do not like opening shit on camera. But it is an unboxing, so garbage. Let's see now. There we go. Don't mind my tummy. But anyways, here is the fragrance. You know, the box is honestly at this point with me in the boxes, you got the back where it has taco beans, the namesake on it on the back. With the bottle, you know, nothing really crazy. There's the information, yada, yada. You know everything about it. Let me read to you the part that is unique to this box, which is the little description. Let me find it. Okay, here we go. I'll read now, starting with this. Amen, pure Tonka. Discover a fresh and torrid fusion between the Tonka bean sensuality and the lavender purity. Stimulation of a body burning with desire, betraying the emotion of boundless passion. An exhilarating fragrance for a man no one can resist. Mysterious and intense, he is the embodiment of temptation. Amen, pure Tonka. Fever of the senses. So, from the description, out of all this, this one seems to be really intriguing. They all are, um, in general, pretty much. But at this point, if you're like me, you're going to be with the flankers of Amen forever. Or at this point, you've given up like three or four flankers ago. So for me, I'm the first one who's not going to give up unless they get like really, really bad, which they haven't yet. They're still really good. But regardless, I'm in the crowd where I'm still interested heavily in the flanker game of Amen. So here we go. There's that. The box is a box. I like the... Always they put like the main passion or inspiration of the fragrance on the back background. So they got tonka beans. Pretty cool. Is that on a... No, I can't tell what that is. But yeah, you know. I got it from Mugler's website. So it's almost guaranteed to be 100% real and authentic. Nothing bullshit about it. So there we go. And yeah, let's open it up, shall we? And get to the fun part. Is there any information on here? Nothing necessarily needing to be read. So let's skip right along and get to the part that the major. Uh oh, I have the box. I don't care. I don't save boxes. Let's see now. Bam. Uh, let me see. Honestly, to me, the bottle. It's it's nice. It's definitely. It's it's has a unique feel to it. It's a, it's a plastic like the rest of them for the most part, but it has a it's a more sleeker. The bottle feels I don't know how the spray works. I'll try it later, but you know, it's definitely gonna be clean once in a while because this type of material attracts crap very easily already just by touching it. I can see the crap that's gonna be attracted to this thing. So let's hope I'm attracted to it as well, not just the crap that goes on it, but. Can't smell anything. That's always a plus. But yeah, that, there we go. I like this sh this shine on it. Maybe could have been made with a different material that didn't attract so much crap or something. I don't know. 
But besides that, no big deal. I like the bottle. Might be one of my more um, attractive Amen bottles I have up with pure zest. And I like also um, pure wood too. Those are one of my favorites. So this is up there. So And Beeman, that one too. I like Beeman, Jesus. I have a lot. But anyways, there we go. Got information and you know the gist of it by now right there. Pure Tonka. 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 mLs, you know, typical stuff, nothing outrageous. There we go. I think we're all pretty much understanding the concept of the bottle by now. Nearly double digits into the flankers, so actually, yeah, I think we are in double digits. Not me necessarily, I think I need a couple more, but in general, I think we're kind of in double digits, including pure shot slash energy, probably 10 or more. I lose track, but anyways, let's get into the information, shall we? This is an Oriental Fougere. Once again, this is Pierre Tonka, Amen, Terry McGlay. Main Accords, according, you know, basically the highest to the lowest um, prevalence. This is very new, so it's going to vary as it continues to age in terms of how long it's been out. Anyway, so it's aromatic, vanilla, coffee, warm, spicy, sweet, balsamic. Now, for me, I'll be honest with you, the aromatic, warm, spicy, sweet, and balsamic really attract me, and the vanilla, too. The coffee is pretty much something that's been there, done that for the game when it comes to this fragrance, but the rest of them jump out to me personally. So, anyways, so far, it's been out for about a month, a little bit less. The majority of people love it and say it's to be best worn during the fall at night with spring trailing behind it. So, you know. It's coming up on the 20th anniversary of Amen, so I'm older than it, not by much, but still makes me feel old considering this is 20 years old, so it's been around for a while. It's a limited edition, you know, but you'll be able to get your hands on it in the future, I almost guarantee. Uh, let's see. The Perfume is Jacques Houslier. I butchered that, Houslier. I'll say Houslier. But at this point, even watching me, if you have, you know I'm not like a wordsmith on a fragrance game. But if you haven't and you're just watching now, you'll figure that out by the end of the video. So, yeah, Jacques, Jacques Houssier. So, all the information is from Fragrantica, so you can find it yourself. So, uh, da, 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 da. okay, 14 people have it already. Two people had it and then got rid of it already. So, two people weren't thrilled with it or wanted to sell it for a higher price. And 189 people want it. So I can expect those numbers, all three of them, to go up and down, especially up as it starts to be more accessible, especially when it hits the open market for like Macy's and other department stores. So, yeah, I don't see anything else. Um, boom, boom, boom. So far, this reminds people of nothing. That should change in the future. Uh, you can buy this. I don't know if Amazon has it. It's showing it does, but you never know. Let me check. Nope, it doesn't. So far, the only place you can buy it, from what I know, is either probably on eBay, you would think, maybe. Probably not now, but in the future. And definitely you can get it as of now when this video is out. February 24th. You can get it on New Glaze website. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, the main notes according to your votes. So this one doesn't have any top, middle, or bottom so it's pretty much going to be just kind of, it's, it's four notes, so it's pretty basic. You got um, tonka bean, vanilla, coffee, and lavender. Now, the one thing that surprises me is the fact that they got rid of patchouli, from what I can tell. It might be in there. It probably is, but it's on the notes. It's not there. Let me see if, okay. Yeah, it seems as if they got rid of the Patchouli, well, it's definitely not listed here. It, it probably will have its little patchouli hit in there since it's the flank of the original. But anyways, okay, so main notes according to your votes. I'm just going to read the notes because the main notes is kind of going to vary as this thing ages in terms of how long it's been out. So you got tonka bean, vanilla, coffee, lavender. Basic. Run-of-the-mill stuff. Longevity on this one is long-lasting and silage is heavy. So this is a great fragrance for the fall and winter, but where I'm from, those seasons are not going to be here for a bit. And now as we're approaching spring, this might take a back seat. For most people, for me, I'll wear whatever I want to wear. I don't care. So 
anything else here really uh, any more information nothing here really I probably forgot something I always do but uh, I don't see much okay so yeah I think unfortunately this is the first flanker I've gotten in a while where I haven't had the hype I usually do because one it's been out so little I didn't have enough time to build up hype and also I've kind of been getting a little played out with the flankers a little bit because it hasn't been anything different, like completely a standalone fragrance, so it's hard to get excited over the same thing with little fixes here and there. But hopefully this one changes it up for me. So, alright. Uh, let's open the doors to this fragrance and see how it goes. That typical stupid sprayer. Oh, it's dripping down my arm. Oh well, let's see. Off the bat, I'll be real with you when I say this. This one is probably one of the most unique flankers to come out, period. Well, not period. And the Amen thing, most unique. Top three. Easily. Super unique. Off the bat, you get, it's, you get a nice hit of lavender, followed behind it with Tonka. Right now, lavender is the star of the show, right now. As always, things change. This is definitely worth your attention based on it being different. Because so far, if you'd have blindfolded me and have me smell this, I would be hard pressed to identify this as an Amen flanker. So that's one of the positives. Holy shit, 12 minutes, I've just sprayed it. The sprayer, of course, is nothing new. It's shit. <laughs> but everything has its cons, and that's the con. Oh well. But as it dries down, the lavender is still hitting, but Tonka is slowly falling behind and getting closer in the race but I'll be honest with you even though I just said it's probably one of the more unique flankers that doesn't necessarily mean it's one of my favorite flankers I would honestly put this in the middle of the pack of my flankers I own but not towards the front and definitely not towards the back but the back I don't really have a back because they're all good but this one might be like towards the end of my flankers like uh, you definitely get a lot of lavender in here it's a strong lavender too it's not a weak lavender or it's definitely not it's also pretty like it smells legit it's no bullshit lavender Tonka's in here as well not much vanilla or coffee to my nose so far, but that could change as I wear it. So, but as of right now, if you're looking for something that has well Tonka, lavender, and stuff, and you also don't want something that has Amen written all over it, then this one's for you. But for me, I'm not like a hundred percent on board with it yet. It's definitely quality stuff. It's more or less just my nose not agreeing with it rather than it being crap. Like, I'm not going to tell you this is a bad fragrance because I'd be lying. Cause it's not. It's just something that I'm not 100% on board with. So, The lavender is playing well with this fragrance. It's really up in front with this. But I'm hoping as it develops, lavender sits down a little bit and the tonka, vanilla, and coffee rise up. Because I'll be real with you, if this stays the way it's going for the most part, it's going to not be used as much as I hoped I would use it. But doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance. It's just not something that I'm... Like, I was expecting more. I'll be real with you. Not a lot more because I don't know what to expect, like I usually think. But now... It's, for me, something that I would not pay $90 for if I knew what it smelled like. I'll be real with you. I'd wait for it to go down to 50 60 maybe even 70 But nearly triple digits in price, for me, 
I'll pass. Shut up, damn dogs. But yeah, that's just how I feel. It's very nice, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of one of my l least favorite flankers. Oh well, but my overall first impressions of this, basically a few words I'll say about it. It's different from a lot or m almost all of the flankers. It's, it can be a standalone fragrance. This is the first flanker I've experienced where I can see it being a standalone fragrance from the rest of the flankers. So if you're looking for that, kudos. Also, for me, it's so far dominated by lavender, which is kind of, for me, I wish it was the other way around, where lavender was a complimentary piece rather than it being a star of the show. But I'll be real with you. Just right now, it's starting to get nicer on my skin. But still, I got to work with it. So, But I like the bottle. I like the bottle a lot. The bottle won't be one of my favorite bottles. But the juice inside, not really. It's I like it. But if I had to rate it, 1 through 10, I'd say maybe a a six and a half for now. Maybe I'll give it a seven. A seven out of ten. Those are very flimsy numbers. I'm not going to say that's a great number for you to go by. That's just how I feel about it. So I'm not going to sit here and say this is what it is because it's not. That's what it is for me. So, but anyways, those are my words and kind of my opinions on Terry McGlay's Amen Pure Tonka. It's a nice addition to the community of Amen Flankers. It's definitely one of the more unique, if not the most unique. But in terms of my personal enjoyment, a six and a half to seven range of enjoyment. So, thank you for watching, and shut up, dog! Bye, everybody. Thanks.